What's going on guys, Faded Louie here, bringing you guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing some long form content today, so stay tuned. What's going on guys, Faded Louie here, bringing you guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid-fit on my boy Jose, so stay tuned. We started off by saturating the hair and combing everything in the direction it lays. Then we switched over to our gold FX and created our guideline contouring to his head shape. Now that we're done balding them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You also want to make sure you're contouring this guideline to the shape of their head as well. Using the lever all the way closed and midway will help you erase that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our original guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. With this same guard, we're going to close our lever and soften up the line and get it ready for the half guard. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Now that the line is soft enough with the one guard, we can switch over to our half guard and erase the line completely. Moving on to the two guard all the way open, this guard is going to help us connect the top half of the fade to the bottom half of the fade. It's also going to get us ready for the one and a half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard, we can move on to our one and a half guard and connect the two parts. Now using our three guard all the way open, we're going to remove the bulk and blend into the top.
now using our clipper over comb method to smooth out the fade. Moving on to our shear work, we saturated the top and now we're going to make our first guideline through the middle and connect it to the sides. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you again. Moving on to this hairline, we're going to start off in the middle and work our way to the sides. making sure and being very careful not to push him back in his corners. Always comb the flyaway hairs and baby hairs you see near the hairline. Moving on to the hairline, we're starting off in the middle and working our way to the right side. I always like to start off my C-cups near the bottom arch area and then work my way to the top arch area.
Using our Turkish Razor and Derby Premium Blades, we're gonna make him as crispy as possible. What's going on guys, Fatty Louie here, bringing you guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a 10 minute haircut tutorial, so stay tuned. We're starting off by creating our first guideline with our Gold FX. <laughs> you also want to make sure this guideline is at a little bit of a curve. Now that we're done creating our first guideline, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. We're going to use the lever all the way closed and midway to help you erase that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're going to use the same guard and use the lever to soften up the line and get it ready for the half guard. Now we're moving on to our tool guard all the way open. This guard will help us blend into the bulk and also blend into the lower guards connecting it with the one and a half guard. Moving on to our clipper over comb method, we're using a horizontal angle to debulk. Now we're debulking the neckline area just so I can get a crispy line up. Now that we're done debulking the neckline, we can move on to our gold FX and start to line them up. I always like to start off at the bottom of the neckline and work my way to the top arch.
Moving on to the C cup area, I love to start off at the bottom and then work my way to the top arch. We apply some shave stick right before we use the photo shaver. Going back to my one and a half guard all the way open just so I could detail because I saw a little bit of darkness that I needed to remove. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, make sure you watch to the end. Moving on to the top, we're using our shears to make a nice and even guideline through the middle. Remember, you always want to make sure the hair is nice and damp so you could get the true length when combing them out. Right here we're using our shears to make sure the bulk is nice and blended in. 